Not sure if this is the game that I'm supposed to be casting, but I hope that it is epic anyways. We've got Nessio versus Paul Mix here on the 50 caliber 1v1 UT3 challenge sponsored by NationVoice.com for your control servers, StealthServers.com for your game servers, and Seco Gaming for your content management needs. We are here on... What the hell is this map? I, I don't know. Something Chinese. Um, I am... Stupid. But anyway, zero zero thirteen <laughs> minutes fifty four seconds on the clock. We are following Paul Mix, and I think I'm saying that right. Paul Mix, yes, that is correct. Um, as he goes around and uh, picks up the bio rifle right there, as well as a couple rocket packs, has the stinger out right there, misses a sniper fire right there by Nessio. Rockets goes out right there. Trying to pin down Nessio. Starting to mow down Nessio right here. Going at him full force with that stinger. And finally mows him down. Picks up his rocket launcher for a little bit of a, re of a reward. 124 health right here. And just in the nick of time for that shield belt. Looking very sexy right there. Palmix. Again with that stinger. Primary stinger fire right there seems to be his best friend. Paul Mix again mowed down by the stinger uh, machine gun or rifle or whatever we actually want to call it. Goes ahead and jumps up to the body armor right there. 124, in fact, call this about 170 over 150 is uh, Paul Mix. Right there looking over the courtyard. Motioning back over towards this rocket room and finds uh, his target right there with the sniper rifle. Again, Nessio missing with that sniper fire. Rockets come out from Pomlix. Sniper fire again, just hit scanning down Nessio and doing an excellent job with it. Rotating back over towards this uh, shield belt. He's going to go ahead and pick it up, no problems whatsoever. 12 minutes Four seconds left on the clock right here. Still plenty of time for Anesio to come back into this one. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and spy up his point of view here for a couple moments. Over towards this uh, sniper rifle again. Nice uh, rocket launcher over there, Nick's Call Mix. Again, nice uh, rocket again. And uh, the third riot right there. Pops up Palmix, but isn't enough to get the job done. Going to go ahead and check out Palmix uh, health right there. Still 168, of course, with all of that rock uh, or all of that armor, as well as those rockets, uh, only doing splash damage. None of them direct hits. Uh, all that hard work, you know, not for uh, too much payback. A couple rockets come out of there from Palmix. Rocket hits the wall right there. Not too sure what uh, weapon Nessio has out. Keeping this game to uh, three kills though. Hammer jumps up toward the body armor. Goes ahead and picks that up. Dodges those rockets. And these health vials are going to pick him up just above 100 at 105. It was 105 over 50. Not too shabby right here. Going to go ahead and see his opponent up on top of the pagoda over there. But after he gets shocked down to uh, 100 health, actually that was 93, he's going to go ahead and retreat a little bit. Knows that uh, body armor was going to spawn, so he goes ahead and picks it up. He's going to go ahead and get the jump boots again. Lower rocket room, picks up the rocket launcher. Probably going to head over towards the shield belt room. Because that should be spawning any time now. He's going to go ahead and rotate back over towards the flak, it seems. In fact, it is the courtyard area. Up on top, going over towards the body armor. It's a little, a little bit of stinger himself, but just isn't able to connect. Nice double rocket blast right there by Palmix. 19 health from Nessio. And uh, again with the stinger, finishes off Nessio. You know, I want to kind of say that uh, 
UT3 seems to be a little bit opposite from 2004 in that uh, 2004 was all about a lot of hit scan, you know, shock, lightning, shock, and and uh, a lot of of uh, distance combat. And then once you think that your opponent is down, then you go in with like the flat cannon or the rocket launcher or, or whatnot to to finish them off. This game seems to be you want to get those big hits in, and then to finish them off, you know, take out your uh, your, your your stinger and or other hit scan weapons to uh, to get the the, the job done. So a uh, pretty interesting game, but yet it does feel a lot the same. Sniper rifle out right here from Nessio. And then Rockus right there blows himself up. 11 health. It's going to go over towards the health in the pagoda and gets it just as it spawns. Lower rocket room right here. We do see Palmix go up towards the body armor. 61 health right here from Nessio. Those healths are on an incredibly short timer, 23.3 seconds. So uh, they should be spawned any second now. Nessio did get that 100 health. Spamming up rockets and again, Palmix, nice prediction with that rocket and practically blows that whole uh, that whole shield belt away. Nessio going over towards the flat cannon right there. Palmix up towards the body armor, comes down with some rockets. 51 health on Nessio's bar. Not too much, if any, armor. Close quarters right here with rocket versus rocket. Both guys pulling off a, a bit. Yes, he was going to go ahead and get those boots and jump up to the body armor spawn. But we did just see Palmix come down from there. You would think that he got it, but actually we do hear Nessie will pick it up. It's going to go ahead and rotate on over towards the shield belt. Great rocket work right there by Palmix. I can't say that enough. But he's unable to get the... Uh, the job done with these excellent prediction rockets. However, in his current state at 10 minutes, or 10 minutes, 7 minutes and 10 seconds left to go, uh, really all he's got to do is just keep Nessio away from this armor and off of his back. And uh, goes a little berserker right there to take out Nessio. Uh, nevertheless, 5 frags over 0 right here. Just under seven minutes left to go. Going to go ahead and flip back over onto the superstar right here, Palmix. Top of the courtyard area. Takes out his stinger. Going over towards those health bubbles. Picks himself back up to 100 health in that pagoda. Right by the shield belt and just... Uh, there's a little loop-de-loop -loop until it spawns. Jump boots up right here. Rocket launcher out. Taking on Palmix face-to-face. -face. Palmix has the shock rifle. Close quarters. What are you doing with that gun? So close. But he's at a perfect distance right now for some shock combos. Palmix again rushes up towards him to where he can't get those shock combos off. And uh, finishes the deal with that stinger. out some triple rocket blast as he picks up that armor goes back up towards the armor and uh, he's a bunch of health vials that he wants to get to pick himself up to 145 health and he's got just about as much armor on top of that as well double rocket down over to Palmix to push him off of this shield belt spawn he gets it, that's it. 5 minutes and 30 seconds, so 5.35 is going to be the next spawn. Almost gets the uh, shot combo right there, but Nessio runs into it. Nice hit scanning though there by Palmix to finish it off with that shock. And uh, takes himself up to 7 frags to nil. On Nessio here in the 50 caliber UT3 1v1 challenge. Palmix just uh, camping out on top of this pagoda, raining down a couple rockets right here. Nessio doing a good job to stay away from him. And in fact, Nessio bringing out the stinger himself. 
doing nice work with it. Paul, oh my goodness! Knocked back with the rocket from Nessio goes Paul Mix into the water, and that gets Nessio up on the board. Brilliant work right there at that very vulnerable spot, vulnerable spot on that uh, shield belt area. Going on top of that pagoda and uh, doing what he needs to do in order to get that spawn himself. Paul Mix with the sniper rifle. Uh, Trying to get Nessio as he picked up that body armor. Goes back over towards the shield belt spawn. Stingers out in full force from Palmix again. 86 health on the board. Once again, the Stinger pushing away Nessio as he gets that shield belt spawn. Nearly avoids those rockets, almost pushing him back into that water yet again. Some fancy footwork uh, took care of that, unlike the last time. And the shaft comes out from Paul Mix, finishing down Nessio. Eighth frag up on the board. Three minutes, 13 seconds left on the clock. Into the flak room, picks up the flak rifle. Some more stinger action right there. Spamming out a couple flak into that hallway. Here the shock being pre preemptively uh, thrown out there by Nessio. Doing a nice job of pushing Palmix away from this shield belt spawn. Palmix though is able to go through the health pagoda right there. And uh, Nessio missing with those shock combos. Seemed to be at the perfect distance right there to blow it right in front of uh, Palmix's face, but is unable to connect nevertheless. 100, 100 health on Palmix's chart right there. Just over two minutes left. Nessio has seven frags to make. Don't think he'll do it, honestly, but uh, you never know about the Shoutcaster's Curse. I don't like to call these games until they're over. Stinger on Stinger, close quarters, and second frag on the board right there for Nessio. Two minutes left. He's got six more frags to get. Paul Mix is going to pick up these uh, health vials. He's going to go ahead and get that body armor right there. So right now he's riding 140 over 50. Or rather, 50 over 140, if I knew how to say that right. Shaft comes out right there by Palmix. Spams out some flak. He is in retreat. As he should be. I mean, he's six frags in the lead. He's only got to hold out for a minute and a half right here. And uh, he will be moving on. This is the uh, gut shot challenge as uh, the... A single el el elimination tournament is over. We've got two additional spots for tomorrow night's 16-man uh, double, double elimination bracket. And uh, this gut shot challenge is to determine the final two positions in that nice rocket right into the face of Palmix. 3-8 to eight right here. Nessio making a little bit of a comeback, but is it going to be enough? If we do some quick math, and uh, I know better than to do math while I'm on the air, but I'm going to do it anyways. 40 seconds left, and he has got, oh, five frags to get. So what's that? Like one frag every eight seconds about. Uh, and I don't think that's going to happen. In fact, right now at 30 seconds, that would be one frag every five seconds. Four frags to go. 20 seconds left. Nessio trying his hardest. He's got this goo gun out, which is pretty much instant hit. But uh, Paul Mix is just going to go ahead and run away. Or in fact, uh, Paul Mix was the one that had that goo gun, nevertheless. And this match is going to go to Paul Mix. Good game, nevertheless. Congratulations to both players. Paul Mix is going on to tomorrow's double elimination challenge, and uh, Nessio is uh, left to watch.
Thanks for tuning in. This has been Rob Konsu of the GGL Wire. Visit us at wire.ggl.com. And, of course, this has been the 50 caliber tournament. Uh, you can catch them out at ut3tournament.50caliber. That's C-A-L-I-B-R-E. If everybody out there can uh, spell as horribly as I can, uh, dot com. I will check you all later. Peace out.